we believe this will change the landscape of research questions that will be asked. If you look at grand engineering challenges, they all cut across disciplines. And sustainability is going to be one of the major aspects that have to be taken care of. With all these, uh, there is a lot of scope for somebody who has been trained in CEM to take up positions even of leadership in multidisciplinary domains. A graduate of this program will have two sets of opportunities. One is, of course, the traditional job. You could look at somebody being called a digital twin developer or a digital twin engineer. And there's a whole range of engineering opportunities in the industry there. A second set of opportunities are in research. Because you have two dissimilar bodies of knowledge resident in one person, that person would be able to ask questions that are far richer than uh, somebody who does not have the, those two bodies of knowledge in one person and they have to rely on collaborations. We are going to offer the uh, courses like Centre Materials in a very different way, which will be hands-on. They will love doing what they are uh, learning. And this is an experience that they will take along with them when they graduate. They will also have exposure to various uh, fundamentals, from electrical networks to sensors and actuators to signals. We are planning to also take them to uh, industrial tours, Right, get them to go outside. Thankfully, we have now research park and all those. Today, infrastructure is such that it is possible for us to uh, get them to explore more. We believe this will change the landscape of research questions that will be asked as well. And most research problems these days, as we know, require an interdisciplinary approach, uh, and an interdisciplinary solution development process. By 2030, we see uh, AI taking over certain aspects of whatever uh, is happening, whether it is coding, whether it is designing. Looking at this, uh, we started to recruit uh, faculty members in the multidisciplinary areas, cutting across even within our own uh, groups that we had, uh, fluid mechanics to solid mechanics to biomedical engineering. There's a very active uh, area of research now uh, called complex networks which is a field that has come up thanks to the vast expansive networks that we have built for ourselves understanding the dynamics of these networks is crucial to how information flows today right so those are all opportunities apart from you know digital trends healthcare uh, understanding um, you know mechanical systems electrical systems uh, and designing in silico designs uh, developing in silico designs of of real world engineered products uh, and to understanding complex networks uh, i think the canvas is wide and vast for somebody that wants to paint a career for themselves in the research space. The Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering at IIT Madras has 38 faculty members and we all have our own research labs. It is the most interdisciplinary department in the whole country. We have 40 plus labs associated with different research uh, topics that uh, faculty are uh, conducting. One last thing is we are also going to introduce mindsets. For example, we will just ask them to explore asking this question. What is mechanics in it? Right? What is mechanics in the camera? So that's who these graduates should aspire to become and be. <laughs>